Hello my awesome Virgos, this is Kelly from House of Virgo, welcome to my channel. If you're new, please do smack that subscribe button. This is a Virgo channel only for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, so please keep in mind some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. Alright Virgos, how are you all doing? Let's get started, see what your love messages are for July. Okay, for July. And if I do an extended reading, I'll let you know throughout the reading and I will post the link below this video if we need to go there. All right, let's take a look here. Okay, Virgo, Virgo Sun. Hello, everybody in the chat. <clears throat> Sorry, Virgo Sun. Moon rising or Venus, what messages does Virgo need to know? What love messages does Virgo need to know for July? 2022 okay all right so you've got kisses awesome you keep getting the kisses card virgo what's up okay unconditional love giving and receiving affection falling in love okay so i mean maybe you're falling in love with someone or someone's falling in love with you somebody wants to kiss you or you're getting some affectionate kisses receiving or giving let's see what else is going on here virgo virgo coming to you in july some love somebody's bringing you some affection okay okay you've got a mask not showing true feelings Hiding, pretending, gaslighting. Okay. <laughs> Exciting. Mm -hmm. Somebody's wearing a mask. Um, keeping things surface, showing love and affection, but not opening up those deep feelings. Uh, making you think that they're not truly in love with you. Pretending that they could take it or leave it. <laughs> okay. Somebody's maybe very insecure or just keeping their emotions inside, not really showing the depth of their emotions yet, still being affectionate. So like the affection and the kisses are just these little sweet nothings is what I feel like is going on here. Okay. And you've got dragonfly, being lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapting, changing and healing. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like somebody's going to be very lighthearted with you in July. Very sweet, loving, affectionate, but hiding their true feelings. Okay. Let me just get one more because I want to see what these messages are here. One more card for Virgo, please. One more card for Virgo. Okay. The Golden Mirror. Hmm. Self absorbed narcissist. One sided relationship. Love bombing. Okay. There you go. You're dealing with a shit stain here. Okay, someone who, boy, this really took a turn. This is somebody who's making you think or will try to make you think that they have deep affectionate feelings for you, deep love, loving feelings for you, but I don't think that's the energy, okay? So you're definitely going to be getting a reach out from somebody. Um, this is someone who shows that they have a crush Okay, this is my card about, you know, someone being smitten. So there's some communication coming in. Um, let me see. What else is going on here? Okay, it's a very immature, light kind of energy with somebody here. I don't know, be careful. I feel like I need to tell you, be careful of somebody who's giving kisses and love and affection. It's it's very surface. Um, and what is this person's true feelings, though? Because they're not showing these true feelings. They're pretending. Um, and are, is somebody love bombing you? I feel like some of you are going to find out or something's going to come to light about somebody here. Let me see. Oh, okay. Seven of Swords. Yeah, there's a trickster. Okay, there's somebody reaching out to you, but this like a trickster energy. This person's coming across as being like a thief of hearts, trying to steal your heart here. Get the hell out of here with that. Okay, let me see. What the heck? 
Oh, okay. Four of Swords in the reverse. So this person is showing up quite restless and very unstable, not healed from a past relationship, not healed from something, okay, where it's like, this almost feels like intentional, an intentional energy here to love bomb you and give you all kinds of like affection and um, express themselves as being an, like they loving you unconditionally. But I feel like this person, yeah, is coming in like very one-sided right okay so three of wands here okay so somebody's going to try and make plans with you okay you might be at a distance to this person they're going to try and make plans with you um they might be waiting to hear from you or they're they're keeping you on hold um or you know there's an energy here of like reaching out and giving you all this this love kind of energy and then waiting to hear back from you and they're very restless okay it, it just feels like ding dong ditch energy you know like this person reaches out with this crush love bomb energy and then they run away and then they're restless and they're waiting to see it's like intentional waiting to see if you'll take the bait if you'll bite okay wow what the who is this person what the heck is going on here yep so Knight of Wands coming in with this real lusty energy. I feel like you got to be careful in July of who this person is. You know, don't don't run with anything. Don't get your hopes up with somebody. You, you know, whoever this person is, it shows up. Don't don't run with it, Virgo. Just be like, okay, I see. Don't get yourself frantic. Don't get upset. You know, don't just ignore. Okay this energy and that's what i just feel like because somebody's coming in here being very fake they're fake they're showing up very fake okay oh nine of swords and the seven of pentacles okay yeah i feel like this person's intention and this is a real shit stain this person i feel like their intention is to just come in and, and wreak havoc in your mind and cause so some of you maybe you have this person blocked or you're in no contact or something happens where they reach out and i feel like this person's intentionally coming in to cause anxiety and stress and th this person's like a nightmare this is like um they're coming in like a nightmare okay um this what this is what i feel like the intention is here to cause you i don't uh, so here's the thing like is it being done intentionally? I mean, there's narcissist energy here. Is your person a narcissist? Maybe, I don't know. Are they intentionally? They could be intentionally coming in to do this. Or it, it just might give you a sense where you're like, somebody love bombs you and gives you all this love and affection and kisses, but they hide. They don't show anything deeper than that. Try to get you to, like they're deluding, you know, and try to get you to kind of um oh and adapt they can try to yeah that's what that love bombing is like try to adapt to you mirror you the golden mirror try to make it seem like if you're if this is somebody that you've been involved with before friend family member colleague lover whatever the situation is if you knew them before or if you meet them in july just really pay don't fall for the words really it, because it's lip service like you need to see actions pattern like giving kisses and showing love and affection is great um and it's even better when there's a true healthy relationship established but i feel like i don't know exactly who this person is I can try and find out and see who they are. Okay, got the death card. That's the first major arcana. Okay, for some of you, it could be Scorpio. Oh, it's Mars energy. It could be um, Aries. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this person is going to come in and then just dip out. Okay. Um, come in wreak havoc leave and just keep you like on delay okay whether they're coming in for some lusty energy or to love bomb you this person comes across with that four of swords to me it's very unstable they're unhealed 
very unstable kind of energy. And this is, I don't feel like this is somebody that you really should waste your time with here. If they're unstable, like, it's just going to cause a lot of stress and anxiety here for you, Virgo. Okay. All right. So, Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Cups re reversed. Yeah. So, this person, I feel like they're just going to come in and love bomb you and then disappear. And I feel like either they're intentionally going to try to cause you to be in an anxious state. Some of you might know this person and you start talking to them again and you might be like, oh, I never should have opened up that message or listened to, or took the phone call or listened to the voicemail or anything like that because this person, they're going to come in with this crazy energy and then make you, it's, it's like a, um, <laughs> they're just saying like a drug dealer giving somebody the fix, you know, and then leave you Jones in. And then, you know, um, if you try to reach out to this person, I feel like they're going to tell you that they're busy or they got other things going on and they're not trying to reunite or they're just, too, it's just nasty energy. Hold on. A card fell. Okay. The world fell in reverse. Okay. Delay, delay, delay. But I don't feel like this person... <clears throat> is trying to move on. <clears throat> I feel like, what are they going to say to Virgo? What are they going to say? Okay. <laughs> you know what, Virgo, first of all, this person is like watching you. They're like seriously stalking you and they're, they're extremely curious about you, what you're doing, where you're going, all that stuff. This person, oh my goodness. Who is this? Oh, there's your card. Okay, we got Aries in reverse. Um, whether it's an Aries or not, this this is the Emperor in reverse is always like the highest, nastiest ego. This is someone who pretends, male or female energy, um, masculine or feminine. They, pr they act as if they get their shit together and that they're like head honcho, top of the line, but they really aren't. They're extremely insecure deep inside um, and just very controlling, you know? Um, yeah, I don't like that energy. I don't like the emperor in the reverse. This is someone who's just a real asswipe. Total. Okay, yeah, there you go. This person is just nothing but betrayal. It's just disappointment. It's just nothing but disappointment, okay? And I feel like for you, Virgo, you already know this. You're already, sh you know who this person is. Whoever they are, you already know that this person, either they're like a heartbreaker or they're just toying with you or they keep trying to toy with you you know, um, or they're toying with you by like other people, you know, having like, I guess you want to call it by proxy or flying monkeys to get other people to talk to you or find out what's going on with you. And yet, if you question them or say anything, they're just like, I, I don't know anything about that. I was busy working or I was doing, you know, my thing, whatever I do. Okay, we're going yeah, but at the same time, this person is obsessed with you, Virgo, okay? That's, that's the thing. They're obsessed. They need you. This person absolutely needs you, okay? And if you don't know who this person is, you if you open yourself up to this love bombing stuff, now listen, I know that love bombing is not a bad thing, um, yeah, I see you could be meeting this person in July. You may not know who they are. You could be connecting with them in July and thinking, oh, you know, this person, there's just going to be this feeling of like, wow, mirroring each other. Like this person comes in with a lot of conflict. Okay. They, they don't show at first that they have like abusive tendencies or anything, or they act as if they're not controlling you know, um, but they do have a lot of drama and they're very competitive and this person comes in 
whether it's new or someone coming back where they come in with this just creating drama and they might say they don't do that they don't create drama but they they lie okay this person's like it's all about deception so you might meet this person or connect with this person and then they try to engage you in some way where it seems like you're both 100% on the same page. And it's like, wow, I feel like if, you, if you're not familiar with this kind of energy, if you feel like you meet someone and it's like, it feels like too good to be true, Virgo, it is too good to be true, okay? And you need to follow that. And if you know who this is, yeah, you've connected with this person before. I think some of you are like, here we go again with this shit. Here we go again with this person, right? Um, so let me see. I want to see what your energy is here, Virgo. What is your energy? Okay. Yeah, you've got the Ten of Wands. You're like, I'm done with this. This is too much of a burden. I I'm not trying to have this, this shit stain at my door you know you're like enough already i see you just being like i am not even like i'm out of here you got the chariot <laughs> you know so for those of you who like open up to talk to this person again if you kind of get in that place where you're like oh well, maybe maybe you don't know that this person is the way they is, they are that you're not sure um and then you open yourself back up to this person again, you might come to find out like, oh no, this person comes in with a major, major chip on their shoulder. And it's like everybody else's fault, but they act like it's not. And that's where you get stumped. I feel like this person comes off as being, it's like very high ego. Like I'm perfect. I'm great. Even if they don't say it, they act that way. And then it kind of fools you and makes you think that this person is like everything you've been looking for, or that they come in and it's like, I've changed. I'm a better person. I don't do that anymore. I'm not like that. And I'm just trying to connect with you and I miss you and giving kisses and hugs and like, just Virgo, tether yourself to the freaking ground, Virgo. Okay. Look, <laughs> Some of you might be kind of like, oh, you know, I should have trusted my gut the first time, you know, and you might, maybe you already let this person back into your life, but I also feel like you're going to expose this person, okay? You're not going to keep any secrets. Like, I don't know if it's like exposure to other people or just expose them to themselves. You might do that. You come out of like your secret mode, your secret hiding place, and just you know, open yourself up and expose them. And for others, you, you might actually open yourselves up. So if you do that, just just be very like, be cool, gray rock. Don't show, don't get wrapped up in anything with anyone, especially if you're getting a, a bad vibe. And that's if you're getting like a bad vibe and don't run with the whole, well, how do I know it's me? And how do I know it's not my past stuff? Like your body your body just knows you got to trust your body you got to trust your you know the vibrations that you get from your body okay um okay yeah so for some this is the first court card so it could be cancer scorpio pisces this person shows up in reverse very clingy smothering obsessive um all the all the court cards when the reverse are just the nasty ego card but this person's like stuck on you like stuck so if you have a past connection with this person absolutely stuck on you like if you're in this position you're like we're ever going to have a reunion i i don't i think this person has never paid it has never thought that you were gone to even have a reunion to begin with right like to have a reunion people have to be away from each other and maybe you are away from this person, but this person is like, what reunion? You've never left me. I've never left you. You know, that's the energy that's coming through. And for some of you, you might be stuck on this person as well. And so maybe you're trying to heal from that. Okay. It just feels like the big fat N word here. Somebody who's very spiritually disordered, you know, or just very high up in the ego. And I don't know, Virgo. I, I think... 
this the message that's coming through here and this is not going to be for all of you so don't think that the person you're connecting with well house of virgo said you're a narcissist like you got to play that out yourself if you're getting the vibes and you just needed that clarification well here it is okay so okay yeah you're not going to be rushing knight of pentacles you're delaying here okay this is slower than slow you know you're not trying to make any offers let me see what this person's going to do if you ignore them or you're still trying to heal or change or you just you don't give in to anything that's coming from this person what is this person's actions going to be towards virgo And just remember, you guys, it could be any sign. It doesn't have to be um, the signs that I called out. Hold on, you guys. I want to see what is this person going to do if Virgo ignores. Okay. Oh, hmm. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Well, and the Ten of Cups. Hmm. So I feel like they're going to keep trying to talk to you, but I don't know that they're going to come in truthful. In other words, this person is going to amp it up and say, I want to marry you, or I want to have like happily ever after with you. Okay, but it's it's not it it's not really truthful because the ace of swords in the reverse is kind of like not giving clarity, so there's something deceptive. So the more you ignore this person or the more you just not get yourself hooked or attached to their words and their lip service, the more they're gonna up the ante. Okay, and try to tell you that like they're gonna go from <laughs> like zero to 60 in no time let's see what else is this person gonna do i can't get my you guys i'm like having the worst i think i might have had a stroke i don't know what's going on i can't get my cards like my good shuffling okay yep they're gonna keep making like oh big opportunity this person's gonna come in and just you know really lay it on thick and I'm not saying, I think you got to like try to clear, like get clear within yourself, right? You got to ask a lot of questions, you know, if this person is being truthful or like what's going on with them, because I feel like there's some shady energy with that moon with this person and those cards. I mean, I thought it was nice to start it out with the kisses, but then when we see the mask, Okay, now let me just find out, like, is this person, like, well, are they, are they playing games? Okay, heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Okay, there's going to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person. Now, one caveat here, yeah, and there's going to be a lot of flirtatiousness. One caveat I want to say that the fact that the dragonfly is here, okay, I feel like this person does have true feelings for you and for some of you and I don't like like I have to be careful with this because if you're dealing with someone who's you know like abusive you got to cut them out okay you just got to be done but I you know I feel like this person is going through some kind of change but it's not like lesson has been learned this is more like going through some changes it's hard for me to tell though if they're saying they're just saying that or if they are it's really happening okay um i feel like for you virgo if you want to have a, an open heart to heart like truthful conversation with this person you can you can if you want to right i'm not telling you what you should or shouldn't do um, but I do feel like this person is going to try to discuss like their feelings with you, but they're going to be very flirtatious. Okay. So I don't feel like this person is like a psychopath. I don't feel that there's an immaturity going on with this person. So I feel like 
you know, all, all children are narcissistic until they're trained and they mature, you know, like, <laughs> do you ever see like a, like a four year old's not share or t a two year old doesn't want to share their toys, and they're just not very good at expressing their feelings. They're better at with temper tantrums and, and they do hugs, but there's no depth to their emotion because there's an immaturity. And I feel like that's the description of this person. Okay. Um, Okay, forgiving and learning. Wow. All right, there's some. Okay. I was just going to say, you know, can, can people in this energy grow up and learn and change? I believe that they can, right? I believe spirit's all powerful. Um, but do you want to stick around and wait for that? Or do you love this person and you know that they're just really screwed up or they had some issues that caused them to be this way i mean like i'm not telling you to go out there and be codependent and heal everybody you meet you know i think you got to save some for yourself virgo let's see what this okay just uh, just you can have hope right um keep it very small and but don't be sitting there with expectations and waiting okay Let's see what this person's Chinese sign is. Okay, so we've got year of the pig, year of the monkey, year of the dragon, year of the ox, year of the tiger, double tiger there, um, year of the goat, year of the rooster, double rooster, one more, double dragon, and a snake. Okay, so... Yeah, just, you know, keep your wits about you, Virgo. Keep your wits about you with certain people, okay? Just keep your... I mean, if somebody's just coming in and love-bombing you and telling you how great you are, okay, but don't, like, get on your surfboard and ride that wave all the way to the shore with this person because I feel like if you fall off that surfboard, this person's not sending you a life preserver. That's for sure. Um... All right, let me just see. What are the messages of love here for you, Virgo? Oh, something just, oh, we will be together again. Yeah, see, Virgo, I feel like this person doesn't want to let you go. Like, they, you've let them go. Like, you don't even talk to them. You don't reach out. You're not reaching out. You won't be. You don't want anything to do with this person. Once you come to terms with what this energy is, and you're like, no, we will not be together again. <laughs> but this person's like, oh, yes, we will. Oh, yes, we will. And listen, let's not ride all the way to the ends of the earth here where this person will be standing at your door with a hatchet. I don't, I'm not seeing someone here who's like a psychopath. I don't get that. I just feel like this person's very immature and they come across as like very narcissistic. Let me see what else. Okay boundaries virgo firm boundaries are needed right now that's been the mainstay of this message right firm boundaries okay this person's coming in and determined to be with you and is going to up the ante because you're just in warrior mode and you're not giving in to anything well good for you um because you may be getting a sense or you might get a sense about this person and you just want to like play your cards close to your close to your chest right don't give out too much don't give out too much of anything with this person okay you want to protect yourself because i'll tell you what even this something people come in you get you fall in love or get attached to someone who's like severely insecure you know, like when you're around your, your two-year-old, <laughs> you know, like after a while, you're like, oh, I just need a freaking break. Like you begin to go crazy. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with two-year-olds, believe me. Okay. So you have reflect, go in your cave for a while. You need to regroup and recollect. Okay. Because a lot is going to be going on and you're going to need some alone time. Stay in the stillness and quiet, but don't get lost there. If somebody's like, you know, coming in and giving you a hard time, Virgo, you can just tell people you're taking a break and pull out or just go, right? Don't give back more than is being given to you, okay? And you've got spiritual principles, okay? So you got to ask yourself, 
Will you conform to something that you don't wish to conform or what path are you on? And are you on the path that's leading you to where you like, you need to do a self check. Okay. Check yourself before you wreck yourself either for the first time or again. All right. And for some of you, it's time to go. Okay. For some of you, it's like, Oh, I slipped and I talked to somebody and this person, you know, um, I removed the blockages and this person popped in and started their shit. No. And I'm like, Oh no, no, no. I got to get out of here. Okay. Uh, don't, I'm not wasting any more time with this. Okay. And for others, you know, you, you may just need to get there. Okay. Some of you, I know you're like, Oh, I'm, I'm aware. And others of you are still trying to like learn and figure out. Okay. So there you go. Lustful, fiery spirit. That's what's coming in a lustful, fiery spirit like I feel like this person lusts after you like with the knight of wands there I feel like this person has like strong sexual attraction and um they just get crazy about you for your future plans choosing a path see this person's gonna try to make future plans with you but it could be future faking so you got to be aware and you got to ask questions if you're trying to re-engage if you're not trying to re-engage and just you know shut the door and keep it moving right it's really simple Okay, bossy male in reverse, right? Male or female energy, okay? Coming in with this new love beginnings. Okay, for some of you, this could be a mother figure, and I hope your mother's not lost enough to you. That's weird. But for some of you, it could be like a mother figure coming in who's just kind of like, um, maybe some of you have like a, a narcissistic mother-daughter relationship, and that could be mom coming in too, okay? Some of you might have child, and you were with this person, and you're pregnant or you you were okay um i feel like you really got to pay attention to your children some of you have like a grandmother who's watching over you might be sending you signs at this time okay wow you've got you've got two hearts here virgo which is oh and the bat is back again okay you've got two hearts here but then you've got one heart here Okay, so this is an energy of like, okay, do I stay on my own or do I stay single? Or do I do I stay single or do I connect with this person? Because these two hearts here are connected. So, you know, I feel like it's separate messages for both of you because I feel like I'm talking to two different people, two different groups here. I feel like there's a group of you here who like are probably going to give this person another chance, but you're going to go slow. And others are like, nope, I'm just taking my one heart and I'm just doing me and, you know, doing what I need to do for myself. Okay. I don't want any attachments, um, any connections. Okay. And then we've got two swans. There's a lot of heart, a lot of love bombing going on here. Two swans. Okay. So just be aware. Somebody's coming in here, like giving all this love. But again, the deep feelings, they're not showing the deep feelings. And we also have a bat. Okay. Vampire bat. Um, could be, um, um, what do they say about narcissists and vampires? Like vampires coming in to suck your, suck the life out of you. Okay. That vampire energy. And then you've got the, the, the dove of peace here. Okay. Oh, so these are so, there's so much contrasting energy here. Okay. This person, someone's coming in as a vampire. Another person's coming in as a, like the, with the dove of peace. And that could be you and the other person. You could switch it however it is. And then for others, it's just this one person coming in with this vampire. Some of you got like a very toxic thing here and it's like trying to break, listen, it is so hard to break toxic toxic relationships like it is so hard like you legit in order to break a toxic relationship right if you've got like a family like somebody you can't because maybe there's family or children involved or something like that you can't you have to go gray rock but if this person you have no attachments to this person at all you have to go cold turkey but if you're still not sure you got to like educate yourself. Education is power. If you're one of these people I'm talking to, it's like, well, sometimes I think they are, and sometimes I'm not sure. And then I don't know. Or you may feel that energy when you first talk to them because 
if you just meet them, you might be getting this thing like, well, my body's telling me something's off. But this person, the way they talk to you makes you feel like, oh, nothing's off. So you got to like, there's a little being conflicted here. And you got to like, get yourself educated, know what to look for. Not everybody is a narcissist. Sometimes it's just people are very insecure and insecurity is the same as like if you're drowning or if if somebody's drowning um you know they're gonna they always say like if, if somebody's drowning you and let a lifeguard go in with like a um you know a float flotation device because if you just go in by yourself there's a good chance if this person is like trying to keep their head above water they're gonna grab onto you and push you down so they can keep themselves above water right so don't go in without your flotation device that's all i'm saying i go the long way around things sometimes all right all right let's see signs we have gemini leo double gemini there is a libra here okay um we have july 3rd um we have november 1st um we have august 2nd we have June 14th and August, oh, August 2nd is twice. Okay, let's see. I know some of you are, I, I know some, I can just hear you. I can't see you, but I can just hear you like, oh, I know who this person is. Okay, we have a Virgo. There is an Aries, there's a Scorpio and a Libra. All right, September, August and September birthdays. So, okay, September 5th, 10th, um, the 14th, the 20th, we have August 29th. Um, let's see, September 1st, we have the 11th and the fourth somebody is 53 um somebody is 54 okay um let's see um september 19th i'm just picking up and let's do one more shuffle and see okay somebody was born in 1990 somebody is 51 Okay, and if I say the number, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. This is just confirming more for those of you who are like, yeah, this is resonating. This is my message. Okay, so we have Virgo again. Libra is showing up a lot here. Virgo's here twice. What the? Oh, and um, Aries is back again. Okay, 1980. Um, let me see september 17th the 16th okay somebody was born in 1964 um 1985 december 1980 they're just telling me okay somebody was born in 71 and 1974 okay so i'm gonna leave your reading there again virgo just let the messages play out okay i just heard the name dorothy and hold on now, they're telling me to tell you some names. Oh, I just heard the name Dorothy or Dora or Dorothea. It's a door, door something. Okay, they're giving me Tom Thompson. They're saying Thompson. I don't know if these are like last names or first names. Um, oh, okay. They just gave me a a drink um it's like a jamoka i think jamoka is that like a chocolate coffee kind of drink jamoka and hold on i'm hearing the name brian or brianne and willem w i is it it's willem Willem or William? Willem. Okay. And then I'm hearing, there's a name that starts with an S. Char, Charm, Charm, Charm. They're saying Char, Charm, Sharon, Sharma, Charm. 
Okay. All right. I'm cutting them off because I don't. I can't keep doing those names. But all right, Virgo, leave that message there for you. Good luck with this one. Right? No shit stains, Virgo. You know how it goes. I mean, like I said, and I'll say it again. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't heard me say it, unless somebody, and I'm not saying somebody needs to come in and like kiss your ass, but like people gotta. When someone's serious about something, you never have to question, right? Because you'll just know, right? So trust your gut. If something's off, you know, um, and if somebody's coming to you with a bloody stump, and if for those of you who are new and you know what I'm talking about, I used to always say, if this person's not willing to cut their leg off below their knee and limp for the rest of their life for you, then that's not somebody that is, you know... I don't care who they are. I don't care who you are, right? That's what we, that love is a sacrifice. It's a risk. It's something that we do for each other. You know, you love someone, you'd be willing to take a bullet for them. If this person's not willing to take a bullet for you, but they'd rather stand in front or put you as a shield, then, mm, I mean, that's some hardcore love right there. But, you know, people do it, you know, and Virgos are the ones who will take the bullet for people. Well, you know that about yourself, Virgo. You will always take a bullet for the ones that you are in your like, that you are super close to. But once they are like treating you like shit and it's just they're faking it, then Virgo's like, no, nope, you can go fend off those bullets all by yourself because I am not having it. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave that there for you. So I'll see you tomorrow. I love you guys. Bye. Bye.